guys, my name is Juliana and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm watching a new series that had a lot of controversy, Fate the Wings Saga. It's a new Netflix show based on the popular Wings Club series back in the day. I know the Wings cartoon is still going on, but we won't address it since... Yeah, they did my girl Layla wrong, okay? And since this live action show won't be having any transformations, I decided to start off with one myself. You see this fit? You see this hair? It's kind of orangey and with a bluish fit. I'ma say I dedicated this to Bloom. Yeah, let me just say that. <laughs> the reason this show had a lot of controversy is because of the first trailer. Because people were like, Wings Club, great fashion, check. Diversity, check. Honestly, that's one of the first things I noticed when I was a child. Like, the diversity in that cartoon, it was immaculate. Something you don't see a lot, honestly, because the characters were 50-50, white and POC. Especially my girl Layla. My girl, my girl Layla, okay? A black animated female character that kind of had the lead in season 2 when she showed up. Like, the only type of role the black characters got in animated series were, like, the best friend or, like, the side character you don't hear from a lot. Lot, but Layla was one of the main characters and had a great storyline in season 2 So I hope they don't push her to the side in this show Let's talk about the elephant in the room The characters were sort of whitewashed Musa used to be Asian not anymore. Flora used to be Hispanic, now not anymore. Well, they kind of figured out a loophole. They added this new character called Terra and replaced her with Flora and she's actually Flora's cousin, but yeah, okay. I don't know, I don't think there was a reason to do that. Like, I appreciate representation, don't get me wrong, I'm a plus-sized boy myself. But you easily could have cast a Flora as a plus-sized Latina girl, you know? As far as the other criticism goes, you know, that it's too dark and whatever. I get it because Wings Club is the total opposite, but then again, it's a reimagination, not necessarily a reboot. So there are definitely going to be creative changes, and I can accept that. I think reimaginations are fun, they keep it new, because no one wants an exact copy-paste, you know? Like, if you do it, keep it original. The trailer did give me more wit instead of Wings Club, which I think would have been great, you know, as a live action remake. But hey, Wings Club had a bigger audience, so I get why they chose to do that. Besides the casting choices, I don't really have a problem with the show, so I'm going to step in with a clear mind. I'm a viewed as a separate thing from the Wings Club, so yeah, at least I'm trying to do that. Okay guys, let's go! Okay. Hello, budget. Ooh. That was blood. Okay. This is definitely not like the original. Okay. Afea looks good. There she is, Bloom. I also love the actress in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina as Dorcas. I'm a Chaos Stan. Also, where is Tecna? Like, I see Aisha walking right now and I'm like, she was supposed to come in season 2, I think. But... Tecna was there from the start. So Alpha yeah, is not the only girl school anymore, it's like mixed between guys and girls. Wow. You are so lost. British! Oh, we are getting British in this series. You must be a fairy. I am a fairy. Fairies have wings. I'm just saying. I hope they get wings later on in the series, maybe like in season two. I was half expecting a school full of Tinkerbell zipping around. Disappointed? I'm just kinda bummed I didn't see a single pair of wings. As we've evolved, transformation magic has been lost. How convenient. Magic can be dangerous, as you well know. Ooh, a bit of mystery, what happened? It's five girls in an enclosed space, so it's only a matter of time before we descend into a Lord of the Flies situation and kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Bloom, like her casting and character. She has a fun personality. You're a lifesaver. I'll answer to that. Or to Aisha. Aisha. I know there's a bit of confusion between Aisha and Layla. Like, I watched the version where they called her Layla, but later on in the series they called her Aisha, I believe. I don't know why. I guess Layla wasn't a black enough name. Are you the one person in the universe who's never read Harry Potter? With me. I didn't even watch the movies. <laughs> Maybe I should react to that another time. May I help you? Yeah, are you, are you changing? I am. People have seen me in this outfit already. I'll expect something different. Okay, at least Stella is still a fashionista in this series. How, how exactly do you? I'm a mentor, not a tutor. Okay, Stella has an attitude in this series. I don't remember her being this me. It's a family thing. I've got this cousin called Flora. My mom's called. Rose, <laughs> my dad works okay, subtle shout out. <laughs> do you want a succulent? 
really hit. Sorry, not that I really know you. If I take it, will you stop talking? Okay, rude. Actually, this one might be. Ah, <sighs> I like Tara. What is it with you and the crazy ones? I think they are actually pretty well casted. Correction. Oh, well. <sighs> Why is he a hairy fairy? <laughs> I just got this image of like Terra growing moss out of his armpits. <laughs> a certainty when the future is uncertain. Is that funny? It's just you're talking about preparing for the future in a castle with kids using swords. <laughs> okay, I get, I get it. It's a bit funny. Light dim from my father's eyes, and when he dropped his shotgun, I knew what I had to do. Damn, he's intense. He's an intense teacher. <laughs> Oh damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is R-rated, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm allergic to gore. <laughs> okay, okay, you know, the trailer showed a lot of darkness and people thought it would be like edgy, you know, but I think the show is beautifully lit. <laughs> Not in like the slang way, you know, I mean, the lighting and coloring is great. Sometimes I just wear my headphones when I don't feel like talking. Yeah, it just seems like that happens a lot around me. It's a me thing, it's not you. I've, you've said enough, I've said too much. Okay, there's a bit of awkward tension. Sexual tension, perhaps. I don't know, I'm pretty sure one of the girls is gay. I mean, it's a Netflix show, so there might be a possible ship between Flora and Musa. Uh, the headmistress is busy. Let's Ooh, this is Beatrix, right? I heard about her, like they replaced the tricks or actually put all the tricks in one girl and called her Beatrix. I'm probably going to sound like an asshole right now, but I'm literally your biggest fan. Probably shouldn't have said asshole in front of the headmistress. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this place. It's history. Your history. Okay, kiss ass. <laughs> I wonder what her power set will be though. Like, does she have the powers of Icy, Stormy, or... I don't even know what powers Darcy had. It's not enough I go out. I have to be a basic bitch like my mom. <laughs> oh, damn. Take a parenting class. Take a parenting class? Okay, well. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe worry about why you have so little going on in your sad life. Bloom is going off. I swear, like, us black kids can't relate. <laughs> Against your parents? That's suicide right there. California. Oh, you remember. Oh, impressed. <laughs> Okay, Bloom and Sky. I kind of like these two better in this than in the cartoon. <laughs> and it's like the first episode. But I always thought Bloom and Sky were so basic, which shows I always tend to like the main character the least, but I actually really love this Bloom. Are Sky and Stella like brother sister in this? Like they can be lovers because she has Brandon. I said I wouldn't compare the two shows, but Brandon has to show up. I'm just saying. Bloom, what are you, what are you do, like, isn't that against the rules? She burned down her own house? Hey, hey, you did it, girly, you did it. The CGI on this is pretty dope, not gonna lie. Hey, don't start a fire though, you're like in the woods. That could cause more damage than like a gender reveal party. Or, okay. Anything you should not be here, neither should you. You're losing control. Yes, I know that. Okay, yeah. calm down to my girl Aisha, okay? She's trying to help you. Aisha, run! Aisha, you're a water fairy, okay? You got this. Yes! That's my girl, Aisha. I flooded my entire secondary school after I failed a math test. Taps, sprinklers, Damn. toilets. Have you ever waded through human poo? Sometimes being a fairy means you have to deal with shit. Literally. <laughs> what the actual hell? Every comeback is another week without your door. Hit me. <laughs> She's like, okay, I'll hit you. <laughs> okay, so our bloom has anger issues. She killed her parents. Oh, duh, like they... Skyped or FaceTimed or whatever. Duh, of course they didn't die. Fire story beats shit story. <laughs> no, I like the shit story better. It's just odd. It's hard to believe you're from a dormant bloodline. Is there any chance you're adopted? <laughs> okay. I wasn't going to say anything, but I was like, mm, should the mom do a DNA test? Because neither of the parents have red hair, so explain that. Want some? 
No, I just, there's two types of fans. Oh, maybe I was wrong and none of the girls are gay because I am sensing something here, at least from his side. He thinks he's some badass, but you should have seen him last year. He's just a tragic nerd in disguise. Ooh, there are suddenly a savage, okay. People always think that they can treat the big girl like shit. We're sweet and, and we're harmless and we should be happy that you're even talking to us. But sometimes we've had a really, really bad day. Okay. Go off. We are not harmless. Yeah. Wrap him with those leaves. I wanna gag. I wanna choke. I want you to touch that. <laughs> I wanna choke. Honestly, if she didn't force me to go here, no shame in wanting to be home. You manipulative bitch. Your face looks so calm, yet you're racked with guilt. You're a mind fairy. Okay, so Musa is a mind fairy now and not a music fairy. Which kind of makes sense because realistically, I always thought Musa's power set was kind of okay. Like, how does that help in battle? What if I, like, made a mistake? You're too special for here. It's not who you are. What if you don't know who I am? Well, if they know who you are, they would definitely encourage you to go there. Oh, wow. Is that a burnt one? Well, it does look pretty crisp, so I guess it is. Oh my god, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Shit, it took a ring. Don't stop now. What? <laughs> okay, it was kind of badass. Wait, 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 where's Stella? She's at school, why? That thing just took a ring. Stella is going to be pissed! Okay, they aren't brother and sister, I'm assuming. But like, why? Why? Like, Bloom and Sky are the OTP and Stella should be with Brandon. What is this? I can't sleep in there, Sky. In a room where everybody hates me. Everybody hates you because you're giving them a right reason to. Like, you're being so mean. Okay, ew, no. I'm a lot of things. Yeah, you literally are three women wrapped into one. <laughs> You're icy, Darcy, stormy. Like, you are a lot of things, honestly. C can you just stop being annoying? Borrowed this off my brother. It's a speaker, so we don't have to talk. You can be in your world, you just won't be alone yet. Aww, I like Terra. I like Terra's character. There's no reason for Terra to not be Flora, but okay, I do like her character. Can you stop with the fake happy bullshit for one second? I'm a genuinely happy person. I can with Musa, okay. I, I really can't, I don't like her. I put my headphones on so I can take a break from everyone else's emotions and just focus on mine. Well, if you put it like that, okay, I guess I understand you a bit, but you don't have to be so rude about it. Like, if she is angry, you're not making it any better. You should have brought it back here and then killed it. Okay, so the thing is still out there. Yikes. Okay, never mind. He and Flora are going to be a ship. I'm saying Flora again. I mean Terra. Sorry. I'm sorry. Then again, I'm not. Oh, you see, I'm not crazy! I'm not crazy. I feel like there is a bisexual love triangle going on. Ooh, who that? The Black Hood? Are we going to have a Riverdale crossover? Oh, it's Beatrix. That was the first episode, guys. I have to say that I'm actually intrigued. I'm going to watch the entire season for myself. You know, I think we collectively judged this series way too quick. Of course, the casting is one thing I understand because, well, diversity. But as far as the storyline goes, I really think that it's not that dark as the trailers make it out to be. Like, sure, this series is way more mature. It is R-rated for a reason. There's a lot of gore. But they did keep the colorful aspect in a way. I mean, Alfea looks great. I'm surprised I like this show. Like, it's not perfect, but I think it only gets better from here. The Wings girls, honestly, if I have to rank them at the moment, I think Aisha because will always be the queen. Then Bloom, right? Because I feel like she has a lot more personality here than she had in the cartoon, no shade. Third is Terra because I do like her character, you know. I had my issues with the Flora, Terra thing. But again, letting that go 
Terra is a great character. Then we have Musa and Stella, and honestly, I don't really like their characters that much, but then again, it's a Netflix show, so they'll probably have some character development mid-season. Since they mentioned Flora, I hope she comes next season and that she is actually Latina. I mean, you saw the criticism Netflix, so it's not too late to give the people what they want. You better give us Tecna in season two, okay? She was never one of my favorites, but she is essential to the show. And I wanna see some wings in the next season, okay? Like, bring the transformation back. Have you seen Fate to Wing Saga and what are your thoughts on it? Let me know down below. Like, subscribe and share if you care. Okay guys, that's it. Ciao!